Hello, what's up you two? Photographer Ronix with Anatria and this tutorial I want to show you how I do color grade images in Capture One. So I posted this on Instagram and most of you fell in love with the retouched image or the color grade image. And you can see quick before and after. So I want to show you how you can easily make the skin tone pop and how you can easily create that evenness within the skin tone color variations. So without further ado, let's get started. And if at all you are asking or wondering the software I'm using, I'm using Capture One 21. So that's the one I'm using. So Capture One is basically a raw processing software that is going to help you and it has a number of adjustments that I'm about to show you in this very video. So if at all you find the video helpful, you know what to do, like the video. So you can see the quick before and after. So I'm just going to reset everything so that we can understand this from the very start and the image i'm using today is taken by gmax studios you can check him out on instagram and also check out his instagram or rather his youtube channel in the description of this very video so right now this is the image that we have and like we do have in photoshop also capture one has layers so for the basic adjustments first of all we want first of all correct the light issues and the contrast issues regarding this image so i'll come to the dynamic range and take down the highlights because i feel like those were a little bit high and also do the same for the whites then i'll simply take down the exposure of this very image because i felt like it was a little bit overexposed. so after doing this i'll just come and add contrast to the image up to around four and simply come to my levels and simply intensify the contrast but as i'm doing this it is going to introduce shadows to the image so i'll simply slightly open up the shadows of this very image just slightly and after we are done doing these basic adjustments the next thing is going to be color grading and evening out the skin tones of this very image so you can see if at all i am to zoom in you can see that we have unevenness in the skin color we have some magentas we have some yellows oranges all over the place so we just want to create an even skin tone for this very model so in order to create that even skin tone we always have to do our color grading on a separate layer so in order to do a color grading on a separate layer that color grading effect should affect the overall image so we are going to come back to the layer panel like i said Capture One also has layers. So when you come to the layer panel right here in Capture One, what we want to do, we're just going, you can see at this plus icon, don't left click on it, just simply right click on it and come to New Field Adjustment Layer. So this New Field Adjustment Layer basically means that the color grading you're going to be applying on the image is going to be affecting the overall image which we want so we are going to scroll down to where it says color editor and by the way if at all you want your interface to look like mine simply come to window then come to workspace and simply select migration so when we come to color editor we are going to come down to where it says we have basic advanced and skin tone so just want to target the skin tones for this very model so in order to target the skin tones we are simply going to click on this color picker tool right here and with the color picker tool we can zoom into the image by pressing ctrl plus and we're going to simply choose an area that we feel like the rest of the skin should be looking like so i'll simply choose this area on the cheek or you can as well choose or select or sample from that area so as soon as you sample from that area you can see that we have colors so these colors basically represent the range in which the selected area falls so you can see that this area that we have sampled right there has yellows reds magentas and oranges so after we have done this we are going to scroll down so we, are, we have now selected the area of the skin that we want so after selecting that area of the skin we are going to scroll down to where it says view selected color range so when you click on the view selected color range it is going to desaturate the colors that don't fall within the selected or targeted color so that is the advantage of using the view selected color range 
So after we have done this, we are simply going to even out the skin and make it uniform. So in order to make the skin uniform, by taking up the hue slider under uniformity, it is going to make the skin that was looking different from the sampled area, it is going to hue those colors and make them resemble or look like the color that we sampled on the skin. So by left clicking on the hue slider and starting to take it up, you can notice that it is now making the skin look better. But now the skin is still looking a little bit pale. So we're going to come to the saturation and simply intensify or take up the saturation. So these two sliders work hand in hand. So we're going to take up the hue again until when the skin is looking better and uniform. And we're going to also take up the saturation. So these two work hand in hand. So you don't have to overdo this, but you have to work on the image depending on the unevenness level within the skin tone. So I'll simply take this up. So now you can see that the skin is looking uniform and it is still looking a little bit pale. By pale, I mean we still have those white areas within the skin. So you can see that we have the other option that says amount. So under, um, under amount, rather we have hue saturation and lightness so in this option basically you either in introduce greens or reds to the image so sometimes when we sample the skin area we sample maybe an area that is a little bit too green or too red so in order to balance or to find a balance within that area we are simply going to use the hue slider so this slider can either intro introduce greens to the skin tone or it can simply introduce reds to the skin tone. So with the hue slider basically, I feel like we have more of the red. So we just want to eliminate the, the red color or the reds from the skin. So the opposite of red is going to be green. So by moving the slider to the green side, we are going to be introducing a little bit more of the greens to the skin. Then we are simply going to take up the saturation so that the skin can look better and really eliminate those kind of whites that were existing in the skin so right now we have worked on the skin so we have another option that says color balance so under color balance you can add a given color to specific areas regarding mid-tones shadows and the highlights and how this basically works you can set if at all you want your highlights to have that kind of cyan kind of look you can simply come to the highlights right here and select it and take the wheel all the way to the extreme so the closer it is to the extreme the more intense that color is going to be and the closer it is to a center the less of that color or you can as well use this wheel to increase the saturation or reduce the saturation of that targeted color so I'm just going to add a little bit of that color to cool down the highlights. Or you can as well cool down the shadows by coming the shadow area and add a little bit of bluish fill to the shadows. But this is too much and to take it back to the center, just use this handle and that is going to reduce on the saturation of that given color. So just want to cool the shadows by a tiny bit. So right now the image has been color graded. But now we have one issue. It has changed or altered the original lipstick color or even the hair of the model. So in order to work on that, you can see it has changed the lipstick color. So in order to perfect or fine tune that, remember we are color grading on a separate layer. So in order to fine tune that, we are simply going to come and get the eraser tool and we can simply erase the effect from affecting the lips. Then if at all maybe the model your color grading is putting on like a red outfit and you don't want to do more of the hard work regarding cleaning out the color grading from the dress or the majority area, here is what you can do. You can simply right click on the adjustment layer and simply clear the mask. So when you clear the mask, it is going to hide the color grading from the overall image. So by simply getting the brush tool in Capture One, or you can use the shortcut known as B. Yeah, later B can simply activate or select the brush tool in Capture One. So by using that and pressing M, 
M is for mask. So by selecting M in capture one, it is going to enable you to see where you're trying to paint and mask out on the skin. Remember, we only want to affect the skin, and you don't want some areas like the hair that are more like the skin tone to be affected by the color grading that we have just applied. So you can just use that and paint it only and only onto the skin of the model just like that. So in this way, the color grading is just going to affect a single person or a single individual. So if at all you're working on two different people that have different skin tones, just create two color grading layers and mask out and you paint in regarding a given person that you're working on or your color grading. So if at all you have painted extras, get the eraser tool or you can use E as a shortcut and you can zoom in control plus and simply eliminate the changes in the lipstick that were affected uh, by the color grading. So you can see how this is effective and you can press M to hide the mask. So right now the color grading has only and only affected the skin of the model. And let's look at a quick before and after for this very image. So this was the image before, after, before, after. You can, you can see how we have been able to color grade it. So if at all you have learned a thing or two from this video, don't forget to like this video. So in order to export the image to Photoshop, simply come to image, edit with and select Photoshop and you can come to edit variants and it's going to open into photoshop for you to do skin retouching so this is how i do color grade in capture one and if at all you have learned a thing or two from this video don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe this channel if at all you have been watching and you're not subscribed yet to this channel ronix from Monish photography thank you for watching i'll see you in yet more amazing tutorials and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating